Hello, and thank you for watching Action Toy Spotlight, where we'll be shining our spotlight on the World Peacekeeper's Power Team Elite Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This model is the Norenko Type 92. This is a six-wheeled IFV used by the Chinese military since 1986. Our IFVs are all opened, and this review will not include the figures or accessories. This amphibious platform is armed with a 25mm autocannon as a main weapon and a secondary coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, both mounted on the turret. Both guns elevate in tandem and the turret rotates a full 360 degrees. Also mounted on the turret are two launchers for smoke grenades. For amphibious travel, the infantry fighting vehicle features a fold-down trim vane to prevent water from washing over the front and into the vehicle and it features an exhaust system mounted above the water line to prevent water from entering the system. Two shrouded propellers are mounted in the rear of the vehicle and can be turned. Two accessories can be mounted either side of the rear hatch. A real Type 92 IFV can accommodate nine passengers, but this item can only hold six figures standing up in the top hatches. And that brings us to the biggest downside of this toy. This is an IFV that does not have an opening rear hatch, which would have been an easy way to get a lot more play out of the vehicle. We have some random bits to throw out here. The side view mirrors are adjustable, and there is what is either a hitch or a footstep on the back just below the rear door. Finally, we apologize, but we were unable to figure out what this feature is. This section of the turret flips up. If anyone knows what that's for, we'd love to hear from you. So the big question for a toy based on an amphibious vehicle, can it float? Sadly, no. You're going to have to use your imagination for that feature. It immediately starts taking on water and starts to sink after a minute or so. However, the infantry fighting vehicle is worth a buy. While the rear door doesn't open, the top hatches allow you to carry a few figures, and you can imagine other troops are down below. The detail is better than something like the Steel Badger from True Heroes, which does have a working rear hatch, but only carries as many figures once all is said and done. <laughs>